It's leg day. Booty gains. That's what we're here for. Let's go to the gym. So we're here at Wild Gym. It's a big gym. We're going to walk through my leg day today. I usually start off on the squat rack. I'm not really good at squats because I have a back injury that I'm recovered from, but still kind of recovering from. I had a really massive break from squats, but they are just a really good compound movement that I'd like to get better at. I usually do just a few reps with no weight on the bar just to check my form make sure my legs aren't too sore to actually load weight make sure my back feels okay all that kind of stuff and then I'll start adding a little bit of weight so I also add in just a few compound movements which is body weight in between the sets just to add to the warm-up basically I'm gonna add some weight squatting that's holding, wrist. holding the bar wider was hurting the wrist. Yeah. So doing squats was uncomfortable because the grip was a bit too wide. So the angle of the wrist and the forearms was awkward and that's a strain and it hurts. So if you do struggle with that, I usually put my hands pretty close to the bar. On this bar, it's really easy because that's like a, a rough part and a smooth part. So I usually put my hands just before the smooth part. The closer you have your hands, promotes more balance and it just keeps your wrists in a less um, vulnerable state. So it just makes it a little bit more comfortable. And it's good for your neck. And it's way better for your neck as well not to be at this angle. So if you struggle <laughs> with that, try a, try a narrower grip and see how you go. Just a note on squat form, if it's something you struggle with, remember that you want to be grounding and pushing through your heels, not your butt. Otherwise your butt will lift up first. So I'll do about six sets in total, three warm up and three at like my working weight or my, not max weight, but heavier. So next we're gonna do the leg press. Usually just do three sets of this at uh, heavy weight because I'm pretty warmed up already. Again, with leg press, like the squats, really pushing through the heels to really activate the glutes. I really like this exercise. I think it's just because I feel really strong when I do it. But you can see a theme. We're doing all of the compound movements at the start when we have the most strength and we're the most fresh. And then later in the workout, we'll go into more isolated movement. Unrack your weights. Unrack your weights. Unrack your weights. Unrack your weights, kids. <laughs> it's time for hip thrusters. I like this machine for hip thrusters. I like it just because it hurts my back less, and that's usually my goal with most of my workouts is to not hurt my back again. When I'm doing this one on the last rep, I always hold it at the top as long as I can. Yeah. Holy oh, shit. Yeah. It's like a roller coaster. Locking. Nine kilos are alright. Oh, you look great. I'll see what I can do. Right? <sighs> Bringing it down is the hardest part. It is. On the last bit. Not dropping the weight. Yeah. So we only get three sets of that. Whether or not that actually happens depends on the day. You can have excuses or you can have results, but not both. That's that's what they say. Them. <laughs> Nearing the end of our workout now, we are moving into the isolated movements that we all know and love. Leg extensions, hamstring curls, half raises for me. I 
I just wanted to add here that you can see that on the extension part of it, I'm going really quickly like an explosive movement and then slower on the way back. <laughs> My legs are shaking so much. Last one at least, car phrases and then we are out of here. My legs are dying! <laughs> I like to do three sets, one like this, one like this to get the outer calf and like this to get the inner calf. Just an all-rounded calf experience. My dance teacher hates when I do these. And now we get to go outside under 38 degree heat. Holy shit, it's hot. I'm filming this outro a day later where I've done my eyebrows, so I do apologize for the sudden existence of them. <laughs> That's my leg day routine. My leg day routine at the moment is crafted for my personal goals, which is maintenance and muscle gain, which is why I keep a lot of my exercises heavy weights with eight to 10 reps. Usually go to one or two reps before failure. I just find that it keeps me wanting to go back when I'm not killing my muscles every single set. If you have any questions about other exercises or different ways to do these exercises that might change depending on your personal goals, please comment down below. And I hope that whatever reason you clicked on this video for, whether it was inspiration, motivation, whatever it was, I hope you were able to find it here. Thank you so much for joining me. And I think that's all I have to say. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.